Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are upgrading the RAM on our Lenovo Idea Center 3. This was a requested video, so we are going to be using two things today. Our PH2 screwdriver and our DDR4 RAM. First thing we want to do is shut down our computer. So mine had a bunch of Windows updates, so I did. I will fast forward through that. Alright, now the next thing we want to do is unplug our cable. So I'm unplugging the power. VGA, the mouse and keyboard as well. So after that, we want to hold down the power button for a few seconds to remove any leftover or residual energy. Now we gently flip it over and remove the side cover. So we're using our PH2 screwdriver to remove this one screw. Now we can gently remove the side panel or side cover. So far so good. Now let us get a good camera angle so that we can remove and upgrade the RAM. Alright, so let's remove the original RAM here. So I'm just gently going to do this. And we're gently going to pull it out. And voila. So let's do that again, but let me give you a closer look to give you a better idea. And there you go. So now let's open up our new RAM. So this was the best deal I could find at the time. And keep in mind, even though it does say 2666, since we have uh, AMD Athlon Silver 3050U, the RAM is only going to run at 2400 megahertz. So I'm going to put up some screenshots of the GPU and the RAM toward the end of the video to give you a better idea. So here's our new RAM here. So let us align the notches, gently place it in, and we're just going to gently push it down. Awesome. So far so good. Let's get our second RAM stick here. So align the notches, gently put it in, and I'm gently going to push it down voila now let us return our side cover or side panel and let's not forget our screw alrighty so far so good let us put away the original RAM now let's plug it in And let's not forget to plug in our mouse and keyboard as well. So one thing I did notice when I did first turn on the computer, I didn't get a message saying like alert memory system has changed or anything like that, like what I usually see on other computers. But uh, looking at the screenshots, it did work. So your dedicated GPU memory now is two gigabytes and your shared GPU memory is seven gigabytes. So it did work. Um, I didn't have any issues and definitely a boost in performance already compared to the four gigabytes. So in terms of the RAM itself or memory, you can see that we have 11.1 gigabytes available at 2400 megahertz, two out of two slots used. And so that's compared to the 894 megabytes available before. So if this video does help you out, thank you everybody for watching. Take it easy.